up everybody it is life's apprentice well today we're on a new construction roof here and we're going to be filming a few different videos the first video we're going to be filming here is how to install gutter apron and d edge for a shingle roof purpose for both um, gutter apron and d edge if you look here this is gutter apron so what this does um, typically you don't really see this if you have gutters so this part here is going to go up onto the roof and get nailed right by these little beads and then this part right here is your drip edge so when water comes down it'll hit this little kick and ideally if you don't have gutters it'll keep the water away from your fascia or your fascia board so that's gutter apron and then this is d edge right here and d edge goes on the rake side of the roof right there and gutter apron goes on the eave side of the roof the bottom of the roof where your um, gutter will go so we're going to give you and a little bit of explanation how we do it and uh, the purpose for it all now you can see here we have a valley coming in so we have a corner so we'll have D-edge going this way, or gutter apron going this way, and this way. Now one thing we're going to want to think about, because these are 10-foot pieces, is we're going to want to think about the laps on the gutter apron. When they lap over, you're going to be able to see into this lap. So in this case, um, we're going to start here and go that way. That way that piece overlaps this piece. Um, so if you are out in the yard over here looking this way you will not be looking directly into the lap we're going to do the same thing here um, and in general if your house is in general you're going to want to start at the back of the house and work towards the road um, or towards the garage or wherever people are most likely going to see the laps now when you're talking about um, your d edge going up your laps are always going to be the same way. You're always going to start at the bottom and work your way up. And the reason for that is water flows downhill and um, we want our laps, the top piece, to be overlapping the bottom piece. So when you're in a valley like this and you don't have to do this and I don't do this all the time, but in order to lap it properly, and all this is going to be cut with a tin snip, to lap it properly, we're going to want to cut about three inches like that and then we're just gonna come in and cut that off now as far as bending tabs um, in the corners and stuff like that I don't recommend that unless you are 100% not going to be put, uh, putting on gutters if you bend little tabs here it does look nice um, but when the gutter guys come and put gutter on, they do not appreciate those tabs because it makes it a lot harder for them to um, slide their gutter up in the corners or um, where the gutter apron reaches the D-edge. So we're going to put this first piece on here. And be careful, this is about a 6-12 pitch. Um, ice and water, especially the stuff that we're on here, can be very slippery. So you can see how that works. And we'll just bend that. And then you can see um, we're gonna run that mostly tight. You can probably back it up just a little bit. Yep. Give a little tiny bit of a gap for that next piece to slide in. Then we're gonna nail it in between these two beads. Um, you don't really wanna go lower or higher than that. And you're gonna wanna nail it about every 12 to 16 inches. Once you get one right there. Yep, and then he's gonna continue to nail that all the way across. We're gonna make sure that it's nice and tight to the fascia board. You can see how I cut that. Pull that back just a little bit so they can see. Lift it up. So I cut this straight, and then I gave that a little bit of a 45 degree angle there. And we're gonna bump that in where it's nice and tight and then uh, proceed to nail this piece. And Jake's on the ladder. I have a cushion, but yesterday, this is a pretty big roof, and you'll see other parts of it in other videos, but um, 
yesterday we were slipping and sliding on this ice and water shield and it's just not very safe we're not very far off the ground but uh it's a lot easier off a ladder at least to get the uh the gutter apron on all right that's our first two pieces installed now we're gonna do our finishing pieces out on the rake edge and we're gonna show you um, how we install the d edge but uh if this video is helping you in any way um i'd appreciate it if you guys hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe i do a lot of roofing videos i have a lot of roofing videos on my channel so if you're looking for any other type of uh, how-to videos as far as roofing goes go to my roofing playlist on my channel there's probably a video that will teach you just about anything about roofing all right here's here's something that i do um, that not everybody does but you can see where the fascia board is right here um, with my gutter apron I want it to stick past this fascia board about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. So take it that way just a little bit, Jake. A little bit right there. And you guys can kind of see how that's overhanging. I'll show you why we do that here in a second. Now on this side, Jake is going to cut this piece. Um, and you're going to want, uh, you know, at least an inch of overlap from piece to piece. Over there. It's got to go your way about a half inch right there. Have the gutter apron on from the valley to the rake edge here. And our next step, because almost every rake edge is going to have a, an opposing rake edge, you can see we have the D edge on. Um, it was long enough one piece that we were able to one piece it. Now, this piece is gonna have to get cut because this six inches or whatever um, needs to be out of our way for the next piece. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the peak. We're gonna cut this straight off, just like that. And we're gonna come over here. We're gonna cut this little overhang. And then we're gonna cut this. So you can see kind of how that goes and I can probably cut it back a little more and we want this to be cut where when we put this next piece on it's going to come and butt perfectly right up to it right there. This will probably take a little messing around and playing around with depending on the pitch but I know for a fact because we've done a lot of this on the roof already that I need to go from that point to this point right there and then what I do is I cut this on an angle that way it doesn't show so then there you can see how I cut that and a lot of times I'll take this and kind of just pinch it just because I want that to sit nice and tight so then here take the camera I want them, I want you to show how yeah and how this so this is turn the camera around your wrong way I'm facing myself yep so this is why we leave that overhang just a little bit is see how that slides in there and then that kind of helps hold it and then is it tight a little bit show them right where it lines up in that corner So there you can see how that lines up in that corner. And again, there's no tabs required because when the gutter guys come to put gutter on, um, they're gonna end up cutting those tabs and you're just gonna make them upset by putting uh, tabs there. So that's, uh, you can see it's a lot, um, I mean, there's no gaps, there's no holes, but then the gutter guys, when they come, they can just push their gutter right up underneath the gutter apron and nothing's in their way. Now, as far as nailing, you can see we have those two beads right here. You don't want to put your nails roughly right in the middle of those. Again, nailing about every 12 to 16 inches. And you're going to want to make sure that you hold this in so that it's nice and tight to the fascia board. Now, before we continue, 
to nail, we're gonna have to cut this top. And you can see kind of what that looks like and see how this is holding it out so we're not all the way into the fascia. We will not be tight into the fascia until we cut this. So we're gonna wanna cut it like so. And then on this side, we're gonna wanna cut it slightly on an angle um, so that that all lines up. And there you can see, this is nice and tight up here. There is a little gap, but that'll all get covered by ridge shingles and stuff. You guys can put a tab there if you really want. Um, and you can see when we cut that on an angle that it lines up with our fascia um, cut right here. And when they put on the aluminum fascia, um, this will all be nice and straight. So now we're ready to nail the rest of it because now this is nice and tight to the fascia. And there you can see we're just using regular inch and a quarter roofing nails and a coil roofing gun. Nice and tight to the fascia. They can slip their fascia right up underneath here. Everybody's happy. Now we're just gonna do the exact same thing over here. I'm gonna leave it hang past about three eighths. About right there. Um, I would recommend a one to two inch lap. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're on the opposite side. I cut that angled. Same as I did over there, same process. Now these pieces are pre-notched, and that's what this is. They're pre-notched on both sides, but it's not always like that. All right, so not every piece of D-edge is gonna be pre-notched like these. Um, so what I do, so that you can overlap them, um, is I just take a snip, and you can just take a little notch right there. See that, I just barely notched it. And then you're just gonna cut it like that. And what that's gonna allow to do is allow that next piece to overlap it. And it'll just go right over the top of this and then you have a nice clean lap. If you don't notch it, you're gonna get a little bit more of a bulge um, where they lap. So these are pre-notched and you'll see, you just go like this and push it tight and that is how you overlap them and that's how it looks and then you're just going to continue to nail that and go all the way up to the peak and you can see i have another piece i left long up there we'll end up folding that over and uh tying it in with it all right we installed those two pieces right there and we have this piece which i left long so then we'll be able to one piece this and uh you can see right here is the peak so what we're gonna wanna do, we're not gonna cut the back on this one. We're gonna cut it right here, just through that. And then we're gonna cut it right here. It's hard to film and show you. So then you can see how that just folded down. And then we're gonna wanna cut, here, can you hold that? Yep. So you can see that we folded this down. You can see where our notch is right there. So we're just gonna cut this off, flush with the notch. And you can see how that works there. I cut that a little short, but that's okay. Then we're just gonna nail this. The only thing we need to do, hold the camera out here. The only thing we need to do is cut this so that it's even. So we're gonna cut this. Just like that, so that we're lined up with the peak. I hope that helps you guys out. I think, uh, 
there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Um, you can talk about ice and water going under or over the gutter apron. You could, I'm sure I'll get some comments on here telling me I did it all wrong. I always do. But there's a lot of professional roofers watching my how-to videos, I'll tell you what. Anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. If it did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I appreciate you for watching.